According to Continental Belts, the leading cause of premature belt wear is belt alignment. You may run into this in the field. It could happen on a vehicle where some of the components are changed, like let's say a power steering pump or an alternator that will cause changes in the depth of the pulleys. But on most vehicles, well, that alternator, it's going to go over 100,000 miles. The same with the power steering pump. Nothing may be changed, but the one thing that changes, well, it's the tensioner. So how can a tensioner change belt alignment? Well, there's two ways. The first way, well, it's actually failure inside the tensioner. There's a shaft on here that is loaded with a spring and also some dampening elements. Over time, this can wear out and this could cause an alignment problem and it can change the angle of the arm. When you change the angle of the arm, it changes the angle of the pulley and its alignment to the overall belt drive system. If you inspect the belt and you see a gap that is uneven from side to side, this is a sign that internally the tensioner has failed. The second kind of failure is the bearings inside of the pulley itself. Over time, these can wear out, the seals can fail, dirt and debris can get inside and cause play in the different bearings. This will result in a slight wobble in the pulley itself. Over time, this can change the alignment of the belt in relationship to the other pulleys that are on the belt drive system. So you may get that vehicle with a premature belt failure or it's at the point where the belt needs to be replaced according to the replacement interval in the owner's manual. So it is key that you look at the tensioner, inspect the alignment of the two pieces of the body, and also inspect how the bearings work on it. If you see any play or have any questions about the condition of it, replace it when you're replacing the belt.